Hello, welcome back to Oma TV Austria. It's your girl Queen. I have a superstar. One of the superstars in Austria, Vienna. In case you don't know, his name is uh, Baby. 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 Well, I always call him Baby <laughs> because he looks ever young, you know. <laughs> so, guys, we got to know him, you know. We got to know the kind of music he plays. Like I said, like I always tell you guys, I'm here to promote anything that is good, you know. When you talk about blacks in the diaspora, they feel that blacks are are foster or they are in mm -hmm. us are well. We're doing well and uh, we're setting a good example for others that are coming, you know. So this is not what I'm coming here to talk about in my YouTube channel, but I'm always here to promote the good side of the Nigerians, not just only the Nigerians, but all the black, be you Kenya, Tanzania, anywhere you're coming out from, I'm here to promote blacks as a whole. If this is your first time, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment, and share my videos. God bless you guys as we dive into the interview for today. Getting to know um my good friend and i would say i'm not full fan of his but i admire him from afar so today is my opportunity also to get to know him in person you know so introduce yourself please yeah yeah my name is uh, bright wife uh, officially known as bb not a baby, you know. baby. Um, okay. Yeah. So, for how long have you been in Austria or in Europe as a whole? Well, um, I've been here for six years. Yeah. So, was there any difficulty in migrating from Nigeria to here? And no, there wasn't any difficulty. It was a direct entry. Uh, in 2014, yeah, probably there was never any difficult moment. Yeah. So, what inspired you to music? Yeah, you know, being in the music industry here in Europe, you know, I've always been a, uh, into music right from day one, being a choir boy at the tender age. So, for that, I've always uh, admired music. Yeah, I do music for the passion, so I like doing it. Yeah, recording new stuff, bringing out new content has been my, my focus, have my foresight. So, generally, music is life. I like doing it for the pleasure. Yeah. So, for how long have you been into music? Yeah, officially, I've been into music for, for like five years, officially, when I started releasing back to back for like five years i won't count my days we will normally go to the studio once in a while no but officially this is five years okay. yeah. i discovered that you said you were a soldier or you were in ojoba basically that's where i grew up in ojo cantonment bar and he said he was living in the musical area, he was studying in the musical area, meaning that he has had new passion for music for a very long time. So how did it come about? You now decided to like pursue your musical career here in Europe, not in Africa. Yeah, you know, back in the days in the early 2011, stroke 2012, yeah, I studied music theory and also musical practical back in the days in um, or drum military cantonment, but I wouldn't want to go deeper into that, yeah, for some reason best not to me. But um, the main reason of me going into music while in the military was was to acquire the music, uh, music technology, or uh, to be vast when it comes to music analysis. So that was my main reason of going 
into the music school and I, I acquired them. So writing songs now is not my problem because I know where to chip in any because I studied it. So I wouldn't want to go deeper in the aspect of my music college, I, music school. I expect your opinion. Yeah. Your privacy. Yeah. So when you were starting with your music, was there any words like discouragement? Because most of the blacks, most of we the blacks, most especially where I'm coming from, Nigeria, were not supportive at all because I believe most people would have told you why are you pursuing this dream and blah 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 and all that. Yeah. Did you felt giving up in your career or giving up in your passion about music? Yeah, you know, in the music industry or in the music cycle, especially with um, with uh, from Africa, based in Europe, yeah, there are always so many difficulties and challenges are there. Yeah, so many people will talk. Why would you go into music while other people are going out for like looking for their delivery and stuff like that? Yeah, but the fact is just that we have to still keep doing what we are doing. Yeah. Discouragement always comes in all aspects of life, no matter where you belong, it always comes. But never giving up is, has always been the rule of the game. Yeah, you never pay attention to the negative part of it. You always want to push into the positive part of it. To those that tell you go, things will work out for you in the future. Yeah, discouragement is always there. But you never pay attention to it. Okay. Yeah. So, is there anything like uh, um, Austrian? Would I say active artist or upcoming artist like Union, where you guys help each other? Yeah, I would really say there is any of such here in Austria. There is no none of such. Yeah, I would just say everybody is just like one man squad. Try to do what you have to do. Try to do your best. Try to bring out your creativity. Try to bring out what you got or your craft. We are just. We are doing the music for our own benefit. Yeah, there's nothing like group. We all operate on different record labels and we all do our best. Yeah. And I just listened to your new single. It sounds so interesting because I basically, the first time I had you singing was when you guys sang the song about someone. You guys lost. Okay, yeah, 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 that's BNT. Yeah, about two years ago. I think from SS. Yeah, that was the first time I had your voice. And I think you're real, it's not like what the computer feels that you know, when you hear someone sing a real person, and when you hear when computer has to do some little, little jobs, you would find out the differences there. You know? So I was touched and I said. I have to like make friends with you to like try to interview you and get to know more about your musical career and if anybody out there wants to like reach you out what are the men uh, or where is the main place to reach you out yeah you know we be in all major social platform are there yeah the IG is there BB Defenders yeah, same thing with the FB, BB Wifo, same thing applicable to the Twitter, BB Defenders. Yeah, so you could reach me there. Maybe you type in BB, you see me there. I'm always there. Yeah, doing. So am music. I authorized to play your single? Yeah, there are a lot of them. The one you played just now is not my latest single. I will still have Blue and some other. But you can see chipping in, no problem. Thank you. YouTube, I got the right from the person who owns the video, so don't act to bring down this video. So what 
inspired you to write this book? Well, uh, I got inspiration from uh, when I was traveling from from Austria via Turkish Airlines to Nigeria. That was about um, a year plus ago or there about. So a guy engaged his girlfriend right inside the, the flight while we were in mid of the air, about 35,000 feet above sea level. So the guy told the guy, I was going to give you everything I own on earth if you could just accept this rank for me. So I got motivated that if at this point of time, where we are like in 35,000, 38,000 feet above sea level, somebody will just give such a huge promise to a lady. So automatically I can do much more than that. Okay. So I have to like bring up stuff like this to tell them that, to tell the ladies there or the one that I will finally fall in love with that I can give her my salary. Yeah, my ATM can be with her, I will be working for her. Yeah. But is the music real? Well, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real. The fact is just that we have to see what we can do. That's baby for you. Yeah, before I have to go down to the studio and bring out this craft, I really thought of it. Yeah, not everybody you can do such a thing for, but there are ladies or there are there is a girl that is that she might be worth more than that. So giving her all your salary is not a crime. In fact, it's even it's even little to her. So if I should give my lady all my salary, it's not a crime. Okay. Yeah. So I decided to bring out something like this. Yeah, and I featured a very good friend of mine, Teddy Ziggy. So he's also a hit maker. He's based in Prague, in Czech Republic. So we met in Nigeria. So we did the craft together. It was cool. Salary to be precise. So what are we expecting from you? Yeah, currently I'm working on a new single, uh, um, Magic. Yeah, it's a summer blast. Uh, I'll be dropping in a few couple of weeks. Yeah, featuring one of the new finest, J Singh. Yeah, so we are working on it hand to hand. So it's going to it's going to blow places. Yeah. So where, magic. where do you see yourself in the next five years in terms of your music, in terms of your career? Yeah, when it comes to music, they will not predict, but sometimes your good work can make you predict your your future yeah i believe i in five years as you just said i believe i should be in the midst of those in the higher echelon yeah when it comes to midst of those in the higher echelon in the music industry in the midst of the a-list so i should be there because i'm working towards it yeah i'm working endlessly and tirelessly every day to bring out new crafts and also to sail with them in the higher chamber the music industry so being a superstar do you have any um do you have any um superstar that you are his fan yeah you know i got so many a-list um artists that i follow on my ig i admire their work and i, uh, I also put them as my mentor yeah yeah eg like timaya the Guri Papa one, Bayasa. Yeah. Shout out to you, to my yeah. Yeah, he has been my, he has been my method from day one. Back in the days of the, the mama. So yes. Yeah, so he has been my, uh, I've been, he has been my method. I've always followed him up. So you see, when it comes to music industry, you must have somebody you are looking up to. Yeah, it's very important. So shout out to Timaya. So I hope to to be like him or even to be more than him in the nearest future. So I'm working towards it. Yeah. So are you if a girls should watch this my YouTube channel, well they would definitely write to me or ask me in the comment section if you are single or if you are married. So which of them are you? Are you married? Are you single? Because we got to know a little bit of yourself. Yeah, when it comes to um, my relationship uh, stuff, officially I'm not single. Biologically I'm not single. 
yeah and i can still say i'm single in another way okay let's put it this way i would say i'm single in terms of because i got no girlfriend not because i can't get a girlfriend what is complicated normally yeah but the the most important thing is my is my career and i'm trying to build it's much more important than, to me than any other stuff yeah i believe in the nearest future we'll get the right one that will be something bigger together yeah but for now we should focus much more on bringing bigger stuff and hit me for grammy yeah you know that grammy is where we are hitting for yeah. is the final point and that's where we are hitting. So, what has been your uh, embarrassing moment by your fan? Um, one of my embarrassing moments I can, I can still remember was when I did my one of my videos back in the days, uh, the party.com. Yeah, I spent about uh, 3,000 euro, euro on, that, on that video then. Then I was still very young then, that was about uh, four years ago or whatever. So, when I posted a video on my, on my IG page, so somebody, you know, normal fan would have bring up their like everybody have what they like and what they don't like. Yeah, yeah everybody have their option. So he wrote on my on the comment section that that the girls I used wasn't mature enough. So you know, I got to like I wanted to reply to the fans. I decided to calm down. Then I I I glanced through his page. He said. Uh, IG page and I saw that it was those those guys that still eat from their from their mommy's pot. So I saw that uh it wasn't right for me to reply him. So reply him is like replying my younger one who might still give tip for school. So I decided to just ignore him. People will come, they will throw stone out at you. It's every everybody have it on their DM and those stuff. But there are people we still need to like pay deaf ear to. Irrespective of what they throw at us, yeah. So, so many embarrassing might have come, but I don't pay attention to them. Yeah, when I look at it, that is so embarrassing, I blocked you instead of replying you because I don't like battering well with people. You know, yeah, that's it. So, what are your words of encouragement or words of advice to the younger, uh, will I say, generation or to the younger? Uh, teenage out there that wants to pursue their dream in terms of music yeah if uh, my little encouragement to them is that uh, music is not uh, it's not a small business mm -hmm. it's a very big business that you ought to invest a lot it's not a business that you will feel that when i invest five million today tomorrow i'll make ten million it's not a business like that it's a business that you don't know when you will make the profit but you still keep on investing, hoping that someday you make. You might not even make the profit in your entire life. There is no guarantee for that. Okay, but you you will still keep on investing in it. So, what are the advice I have for my younger generation when it comes to music? Is that keep on doing the good music you are doing, keep on investing the little you have in it. Someday, um, the good music industry will smile at you, and you see yourself roaming the music industry with the men in the higher echelon yeah so the lack of timaya whiskey they and do others they never dreamt to be in their level today they all strive to survive but at the end they become great so we should all keep that spirit so let the younger ones keep the vibing let them keep the struggle the future is bright and the sky is our starting point yeah.